Hey guys, welcome to another episode on my channel. So as you know, in our previous episode, we have uh, created simple web server uh, using our ESP microcontroller. And if you want to watch that episode, link is going to be somewhere in the corner. And now I explained already that if you want to access your uh, web server, you need its IP address. But what's the catch in here? Your local DHCP server that is usually located on your router, it's responsible to provide IP address to all of your network devices. But that doesn't mean that every device is going to get exact the same address every time it's connected. So if you remember our previous episode, our device got IP address of 192.168.0.17. And now I'm going to open my serial monitor and I'm going to restart my microcontroller. Wait for it. All right, now we got different IP address, 192.168.0.25. And if you want to make any serious project, you would like to have static IP address. In other words, you want IP address that is not going to be changed. And way to solve that is to deal with settings of your local DHCP server through your router settings. What you want to do, you want to reserve some particular IP address for your microcontroller or any other device for that matter. And in order to do so, you need this second number. So what is the difference between these two? IP address is uh, delivered by your local DHCP server, but MAC address is unique for your network device. So if you understand that part, I'm going to log into my router. And I'm using Technicolor, uh, but uh, interface on your router could be slightly different than this. What is important for you to find its settings of your DHCP server. And in here, I'm going to go to Advanced, go to Home Network and LAN and DHCP settings. And now in here, you have table of DHCP IP reservation. And we are going to add IP reservation for our microcontroller. So first thing that we need is to copy this MAC address. I have to type it in 48 column 55 19 C7 column DC column A0 and let's say that I want uh, my device to have constant IP address of 192 160 80.222. Okay, I'm going to add rule for this microcontroller. All right, save settings. Okay, and now I'm going to open uh, my serial monitor once again and I'm going to restart my microcontroller once again. All right. Our address is now 192.168.0.222, which means that from this moment on, uh, IP address for our uh, local device is going to be constant. And if you want to get rid of this rule, only thing that you have to do uh, is to uh, delete that rule in our uh, DHCP IP reservation table. I'm going to delete it. All right, and I'm going to save my settings. And here in serial monitor, I'm just going to restart uh, my microcontroller once again. Let's see what we are going to get right now. Okay, now we got uh, 192, 168, 012. So guys, that's all for this episode. Thank you for watching. I hope that you have learned something interesting. So please like, subscribe and see ya.